Thanks for tuning in today. This is John Holmes with Holmes Hobbies. And today we're going to talk about choosing the best motor for your RC rock crawler and rock racers. When selecting a motor for your rock racer or rock crawler, there's only a few points that you need to keep in mind. The first one is, of course, your budget. You can only spend however much you want to spend, but the more money that you pay, the higher quality of a motor you can buy. And the next thing is the speed of the motor. On brushless motors, this is rated in kV. KV is equivalent to RPMs per volt, and so a 3100 KV motor will spend 3100 RPMs, more or less, per volt that you apply. With brushed motors, they are rated in the turns of the motor themselves. This is a 27 turn armature from our Torque Master Pro line. Now, in equivalent KVs, this is about like a 2500. And with brushed motors, they're slightly slower for an equivalent brushless motor that is popular. And mostly it's because brushed motors wear out faster. But you can also see that brushless motors can be rated in turns as well. And this is a stator from our Trailmaster Pro. And it's labeled an eight turn. It's actually an eight and a half turn. But the KV, when it's built into the motor, is 3100. And so it's just a little easier to compare that way. When you're selecting the KV for the motor that you want, or the turns, if you're selecting a brushed motor, the best way to do it is really just to see what friends are using around you or to see what's popular. And for brushed motors in the three slot version, we typically sell the most in the 27 turn to 35 turn range. And in brushless motors between 2800 KV and 3300 KV, and so our average is about 3100 KV for most of our own offerings. Once you have selected the speed of motor that you would like, you should usually determine whether you need a brushless motor or a brushed motor. And we can visually see that the brushless motor is a more sealed can that doesn't let a lot of debris inside. Whereas the brushed motor has some venting to it, the brushes are exposed, and typically they will get dirty a lot faster on the inside than a brushless motor. So if you're planning to run in water, mud, or extremely dirty conditions, generally we'll recommend a brushless motor instead of a brushed motor, just for those reasons. But if you are planning to be in dry conditions, or on the rocks mostly, then a brush motor in many cases will end up being a better choice. The difference of pole count can change how the motor starts up. So a high pole motor will start up smoother than a low pole motor, however you do sacrifice top end speed. And so if you're looking for better low speed control, a high pole motor is usually better than a low pole motor. Once you have determined the speed of motor that you would like, and the type of use that you will have, uh, whether dirty or clean, then you can start selecting the various aspects of the motor, such as pole count. Pole count refers to the magnetic poles of the motor. As you can see, these two pole rotors of a brushless motor are just one continuous magnet whereas these four pole rotors are actually four magnets on the rotor. If we look at this particular outrunner rotor, you can see that there are 14 magnets on it, spaced around evenly. Next, we are gonna cover the slots of the motor, and the slots refer to the stator themselves. As you can see on this particular brushed armature, the stator is three slots. On this next brushed armature, it is five slots. This is a brushless stator that is 18 slots. And this is also a brushless stator that is 12 slots. Higher slot count motors will generally start up smoother than lower slot count motors. However, lower slot count motors can have more snap off the line, and so they feel like they can have more torque. Generally, you will buy whatever is within your price range, as everything that we carry at home, Tobbies, is very well tuned for your off-road needs, and so you really can't go wrong. However, sometimes you may want something that's a little smoother starting, or maybe a little more torque. Another thing to consider, with brushed motors at least, is whether you have a machined wound armature or a hand wound armature. These are examples of a machined wound three slot armature and a hand wound three slot armature. As you can see, the copper is much neater inside the hand wound armature. And this gives you a lot more torque, power, and efficiency. However, the machined wound armature 
is more cost affordable. And if you're planning on getting your rig wet or if you are buying a motor for somebody that's just getting into the hobby, it may be the better bet for you. No matter which motor you select, whatever you choose from Holmes Hobbies will be tuned for your off-road rig, whether you're rock crawling or rock racing. Now, the most popular ones that we have for general trail use are our Trailmaster BL540 line. We have a pro version with nicer construction and a sport version with lower cost construction. For our hand wound motors in the brushed version, our 13 turn Crawlmaster is our most popular and it's a five slot. And so as the name suggests, it actually crawls better with a smoother startup. But in our Torque Master version, the three slot between 35 turn and 27 turn has proven to be the most popular. And as the name suggests, it has more torque on startup and will produce just a little bit more power than a Crawlmaster version. However, both will be well suited to most rigs. We also have our puller line, which is typically a little smaller uh, because it uses neodymium magnets as opposed to ceramic magnets. The turns on this particular brand line are the same as on our Torque Master or Crawlmaster version, and so you may find yourself choosing a 13 turn crawl type or a 27 to 35 turn torque type of the puller motor. This concludes our video detailing how to choose a motor for your rig, no matter if you're a rock crawler or rock racer. If you'd like to know more information, comment in our section below and let us know what you would like to hear more about or maybe some terms that you don't understand. Also, subscribe to us on YouTube and like us on Facebook to get the most up-to-date information. Thanks for tuning in.